Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end we'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay until the end. Welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Explorer that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015. If you need to find where fuses and relays for the interior lights, also known as dome light fuses and relays, are located, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, um, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. The interior lights, fuses and relays, also known as dome lights, fuses and relays, where you can expect to find them. We will demonstrate on this Ford Explorer here. What we guys need to do, we need to go to the work in the fuse box that's hidden, open the driver door and come under the dash on the driver's side. You see guys where the parking brake paddle is located here, look under the dash on the left side all the way up and you're going to see one black cover like this one, press these two tabs together, behind it is the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video. Please check it out. Here guys, two fuses will need to be checked. We'll talk about the relay after that. Starting on this side, you count one, two, three, four. Even if you have a missing fuse, you count the spot. That's fuse number four right here. That's the one that we need to check. Then you go to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So fuse number twelve guys, okay? that 15 amp fuse that's the one that you will need to check as well what about the relays you don't have relays that fuse is known as a relay fuse so that will be the only thing that you need to check so guys by the way you have all kinds of different fuses relays circuit breakers and check under the hood it's even more complicated guys and even you have some special fuses okay like this one right here one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that we recommend to buy some put them in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time thank you guys for watching and see you next time